Welcome back Gingies to a new video. Today I'm going to help you with your in-game settings. So let's get right into it. Hey, you there. While the video is loading, you have some time to subscribe and like the video. I would really appreciate that. Thank you and enjoy the video. So some of you Gingies might know that I've already made a guide about settings. So before you start whining, but you've already made a guide about settings. I know I already have. But something that I also mentioned in the previous settings guide is that CS is still a bit unstable. I am not complaining though, since the release of CS2 and since my last video settings guide, there have been tons of updates and the game is feeling more and more stable every day and it is becoming more and more stable every day which is why i changed up my settings a bit and that is why i want to give you an updated and a fully new guide okay so let's start with the video settings the first two they don't really matter it's just the background for your main menu or your inspect i chose warehouse the next one kind of depends on your monitor and how much brightness you like i chose to stay at 100 percent but i like it in between 100 percent and 110 percent I wouldn't go any higher or any lower than that. Then again, if your monitor has a really low brightness, you might want to go higher. And if your monitor is really bright, you might want to go lower. So you kind of have to figure it out for yourself. Next one, aspect ratio and resolution. So right now I'm playing 4x3, 1280. 1024 but i used to play 1280 960. the reason i changed this up is because i realized i was focusing too much on other people's settings the reason i was playing 960 is because 80 percent of the community does and pro players does but i have realized that playing on the resolution and the aspect ratio that feels most comfortable for you is the best resolution and aspect ratio for you if you feel more comfortable playing on 60 by 9 don't play 4x3 because most players do, just stick with what feels best for you and that will be the best resolution and the best aspect ratio for you. Of course if you're starting out with the game, I would recommend trying out 4x3, it helped me a lot with my aim and again it's just what I feel comfortable with but really helped me a lot so if you're starting out it might help you a lot as well. Okay next one display mode, obviously full screen. Just stick with full screen. Then refresh rate, this depends on your monitor, your setup. My monitor goes up to 2040 hertz, so I picked the highest one here. If yours goes up to 144, then it will be 144 that you need to pick. Just make sure your refresh rate is on the same setting as the refresh rate of your monitor, the highest one possible. Moving on, we have the advanced video settings. The first one we have is boost player contrast. This setting can help you see the enemy more clearly. I disabled this because I feel like it gives me a huge FPS drop, like I'd say about 5% FPS drop, and I prefer the FPS over the boosting the contrast i don't really like boosting the contrast anyway so that's why i disabled it wait for vertical sync just disable it no questions asked <laughs> just put it off multi sampling anti aliasing mode basically what this does is smooth out edges gets rid of jagged edges and stuff like that i put it on x msaa i used to play on it on csgo as well uh, before this i used to play 4x in cs2 because uh, it felt more smooth and it felt like i wasn't losing that much fes uh, but since latest update i changed it back to 8x uh, it feels smooth again it feels like i'm not losing fps and it feels way better than it did on release for me so if you're a person that changed it as well because you were having the feeling that it wasn't smooth uh, i think they kind of fix it it feels way better and that's why i switched it back to 8x depending on your hardware and your setup you might need to turn it down a little bit but i am fine with 8x and my pc is doing fine so that's why i play on 8x next one global shadow quality please turn this up to high i I think some of you don't get this, but seeing shadows in this game is so overpowered. Like there's literally spots on Nuke for example, or Vertigo, where you see the enemy, his shadow, and you just know that the enemy is gonna peek, 
and the enemy has no knowledge about you yet and you know everything about him just because you saw his shadow on the ground. Just make sure to turn it up to high, you don't need to go higher than that but don't go lower than that because then you won't see the shadows. So turn global shadow quality to high. This will definitely help you win some gunfights. Model and texture detail, I turned this to low. I'm fine with playing on low. I've been doing it since CSGO. Uh, it just gives me more FPS and I prefer FPS over my game looking like super great and stuff, right? So just turn it to low. I think it's fine and it will definitely give you some more FPS. Texture filtering mode, which is quite a hard one for me. Uh, I've been playing Billionaire since the release of CS and that's why I'm still playing on Billionaire. I've also tried out Trillionaire recently because that is the setting Donk plays on and I mean you know, Donk is just fucking great. Uh, but it was working for me, like it felt good, but I think I preferred Billionaire a little bit over it. I was losing uh, some FPS. Uh, I was having some FPS drops and I didn't really like that. So that's why I went back to Billionaire. Basically what the setting controls is the texture filtering that is used for your textures. So increasing this will improve the quality of your textures and lowering it will, well, degrade the quality of your textures. I think Billionaire is fine. Again, I started playing with Billionaire and we're now five years later and I'm still playing on Billionaire, so I'm going to stick with it. Shade and quality, I don't really like this setting, like it has to do with effects and lightning and all of that stuff. Uh, I just turned it down to low. Uh, I haven't really seen a lot of people use anything else than low. Uh, it has a big impact on your FPS and well, I prefer FPS over how everything looks. So low it is for me. Particle details, same as shader, uh, these control the quality of your particles uh, i just turned it to low don't need anything better than that don't want the fps loss so low it is again next one ambient occlusion has to do with the calculation of the lightning in the game and how it's rendered i turned it to disabled because i feel like enabled uh, degrades my fps i get lower fps and that's why i have been using disabled High dynamic range has to do with the range of brightness between the darkest pixel and the brightest pixel. I turned this to quality, I feel like it doesn't really uh, affect my FPS that much and I've been playing with it on quality since CS2 got released. I just prefer it over performance, it feels better for me and that's why I have been using quality. Fidelity affects super resolution. Pretty long and hard word, but basically it has to do with the upscaling of your resolution. I play on a lower resolution than the default res of my monitor, and I don't want all this upscaling to give me lower FPS, which is why I disabled it, and I think it looks best for me, so I just keep it at disabled. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. I've tried both disabled and enabled. My verdict is that this might be the future of gaming when you have enough FPS to use to lower your latency, but I don't and uh, that's why I kept it at disabled. When I enabled it, I felt like my FPS was being consumed just to lower the latency of my game and it was really making my aim off. So if you have this enabled, maybe try out disabled, maybe this will fix it. Uh, it will definitely give you an FPS boost, so maybe try it out. If you have the setting enabled, a lot of pros mentioned it being pretty unstable and they turned it off in game and enabled it via their Nvidia control panel. So if you have enabled it, maybe try it out that way and maybe that will give you another FPS boost as well. I don't want to bother having a little bit low latency at the cost of my FPS and struggling with a setting that people say that isn't fully working and that is unstable so i disabled it it feels way better for me and i will keep it at disabled the last setting hut edge positions just make sure it's at the corner of your screen uh this is all the way up for me i uh, i'm not changing it and um yeah just make sure it uses your whole monitor we're all done with the video settings so let's move on to the audio settings recently there have been a few updates around the audio settings all right so 
let's get into those. So master volume setting, well, this is at 100% for me. And on Windows, I'm using a 35 volume setting. On your device, you just select your default device, the device you're using. I'm using a Logitech G Pro wireless. So now I will give you two audio profile settings that you can choose in between which one you like more. Uh, I like both but I prefer this one just a little bit more. So I have the EQ profile on natural, the LR isolation I have on zero and perspective correction high I have turned off. I feel like this gives me the best ability to hear enemies. It sounds the best. It sounds like CSGO to me. Uh, and I think this is just the one that I like most. The other one I used to play on, which might work better for you, is EQ Profile on Crisp, LR Oscillation on 50, and again, Perspective Correction turned to No. This one is good as well. I liked using it, but I've felt like the natural one was a bit better for me and that is why I switched back. But I recommend trying out both and choosing the one that you like most. Okay, so recently we've gotten all these voice settings. Uh, I just have voice microphone to push to talk, voice input default device, uh, other player voice volume I have at, at 100 so I can hear my teammates. Microphone trigger threshold, this used to be at like 60, but it kind of depends on your microphone. Um, for some reason it keeps going up again to minus 128, so I'm just going to not touch it. Because uh, it doesn't really matter what I put it on, it just goes back to default, so yeah. But most of these settings depend on what audio device you're using and what you want, right? If you want to hear your audio in the background when you're not in game, well, then you can turn that on. My music settings, I have these all on zero. I, I don't use any of it. Like, uh, the only one you might, I might recommend turning up a bit is the 10 second warning. So you can hear the 10 second warning of the bomb. Uh, but I, I don't use it. So... That's why everything is on 0%. So game settings, these are pretty long, but we will go over these pretty quickly. Launched with developer console, I've turned this on because, well, I, most of the time I play face it. So the game launches, I just, console goes open and I paste the IP. Max acceptable matchmaking ping. I have this on 25. You can see the server list here, what is best for you. Um, I would recommend staying in between 25, 50, 60, but don't, go higher than that. Max acceptable game traffic bandwidth. So uh, basically I have this on unrestricted. Uh, apparently when it's insufficient uh, bandwidth rate, like when the bandwidth rate is not uh, high enough and uh, not unrestricted enough, um, they, you will have delayed network packets. But lowering it can help uh, avoid packet loss. So you kind of have to find what is best for your internet, right? Buffering to smooth over packet loss. This is a new setting. I've turned it on none uh, because I don't really have that much packet loss and it increases your ping when you turn it up higher. But when you're struggling with packet loss, you can maybe try out one or two packets and see what works best for you. Again, these settings, they kind of depend on your internet provider and your internet speed and all that stuff. So you kind of need to figure them out yourself. So moving on to the HUD. My HUD skill is 0. 9. My HUD color is bright white. I really like using bright white. I used to play on sign for so long. I switched to bright white and I I love it. it I think it's the best color for me. Uh, well, maybe it isn't for you. It kind of depends on your personal preference, but I just love bright white. I, I'm telling you, try it out. Large player account, I have turned it to no. Um, I don't really need it. Um, so yeah, most of these settings are pretty much personal preference like the notification location i just have it on default bottom right i, I don't really care where my uh, my notification pops up because most of the time i have the notifications turned off anyway so i don't get bothered while i'm in game so the team settings i have show team positions and hut show location and equipment show player colors and competitive show colors again pretty much personal preference but i like the information that it gives me okay so communication Player pings, display and play sound. Some players, they don't communicate. They only use the ping system. Even in level 10, there's players that don't talk and they only use the ping system. So I recommend turning this on. The next few ones, they don't really matter. No, no, I like communicating with people. Allow animated avatar, I have this on no. The reason I have this on no is because movement 
takes away the attention from my crosshair and even those few seconds where I look at the animated profile picture or something changes at the top of the screen can result in me dying. Like you gotta know, when I'm looking at a corner, I'm literally sometimes just looking to see if the pixel changes color. When it changes color, I shoot and most of the time, well, you kill an enemy because pixels, well, they don't change color just by accident, right? So even that small movement on top of the screen can take away my attention from that. And the rest again is just personal preference. Spectator scoreboard, I'm not gonna go over these. Uh, I have all of them on default. Okay, so item settings. Quick graffiti, I have it on yes. Delay sniper rifle and scope after shot, I have it on no. Why Why would you turn this on? I don't know. Does anybody play with this on, on yes? Please tell me in the comments. Auto resume sniper rifle after shot, I have this on yes. And I'm an alper, so I, I know best. Just turn it to yes as well. Detached silencer on M4A1S and USPS, I have this on secondary fire. Sometimes you're hiding in a corner and your silencer will stick out. So that's why I have the it turned off so I can take the silencer of the M4A1S. View model position, classic. First person tracers enabled and always show inventory, yes. Last few settings are kind of personal preference. I mean, I keep saying that, but most of like everything is personal preference. <laughs> radar and tablet, uh, these are my radar settings. Radar center is the player, yes. Radar is rotating, yes. Radar hut size on uh, 0.83 and radar map zoom, zero. 0.45 and toggle shape with scoreboard yes these are my crosshair settings if you want to use my crosshair but i can also copy the codes so you can see it in the description you can just copy my code put it here wait put it here click import and you will have my crosshair uh, so if you want my crosshair the code is down below in the description and then these new telemetry settings, I find them annoying as fuck. They keep popping up on my screen. Uh, but if you want your FPS to show, turn it on. Uh, I've it turned off because it likes that green stuff and that red stuff that keeps popping up. It takes away my attention and it got me killed multiple times. I want my attention to be focused on my crosshair and not these stupid settings that I can't change anything about anyway. So I have turned all of this off. But I mean, it's a good setting if you want to see your FPS and you care about that. I, I My game feels stable. I don't really care. I turn it off. Keyboard and mouse settings, but th these are just all personal preference. I mean, they're your keybinds, right? So I'll just go over them. You can pause them if you want to see them. Um, the only thing you might want to know is my mouse sensitivity is 2 and my DPI is 400. So I'll just go over them quickly. Moving on, we have my NVIDIA settings. I just love that I'm getting fucking flashbanged, but fine. So with the NVIDIA settings, basically what I do is I just use preference, emphasize, and I click performance, and then I click apply. So moving on to the manage 3D settings, well, basically if you do the first step, you will have the same settings, but if you want to check if something is different, you can check it here and you can pause, but if you put it on performance, everything should be the same. Change the resolution, make sure that you have your refresh rate up to the highest setting here. I've seen people that play for years that haven't turned up their refresh rate. If you plug in your monitor, it doesn't go to the refresh rate that it goes up to, right? When I plugged this one in, it wasn't on 240 hertz. I had to turn that on, so please do that. I adjust desktop and color settings. Uh, the only thing I changed here is that I have digital vibrance on 100. I always play with digital vibrance on 100. Uh, basically what this does is uh, when you turn it lower, it adds uh, grayness to colors, right? So at 50%, there's a 50% graying, uh, grayscale that is added to colors. When you turn it up to 100%, there is no grayness added to your colors and it's the full bright color. So that's why I have it at 100% and I just like playing with it. I've always done it. So so I just desktop size and position. To play stretched, I use full screen and overwrite the scaling mode set by games and programs. I also perform the scaling on GPU. I don't really like using display. I feel like GPU is better for me. Uh, it works better for the game. I have more FPS and it feels 
smoother, uh, so that's why I have it on GPU. But I do recommend if you have two monitors just like me, put this one on GPU, on the monitor that you play your game on, and on the one you don't play your games on, put it on display just like I have done. Moving on are my launch options. I use frequency 240, uh, but this on the frequency your monitor is. If you have a 144 hertz monitor, put frequency 144, not 240. Um, I use Novit, console, tick rate 120080, even though it's no tick rate, so I don't know why I have that. Probably because it wasn't that uh, before with CSGO, uh, FPS max 0 and then plus exec auto exec. Exec auto exec, this is something I use because I still use a jump throw bind. I like using a jump throw bind. If you want to use a jump throw bind as well, you need to put exec auto exec in your launch options. You go to installed files, you go to browse, to game, CSGO, CFG, and you add an auto exec. So you add a document and you call it auto exec. I called it auto exec. That name is easiest to use and it works with my launch options. Uh, it needs to be a CFG file. You can see that at type. Uh, if it's not a CFG file, you can just type point CFG. Um, like this one, for example, you just type point CFG, you click enter and then it's a CFG file. So in the auto exec, you just put this. I will put it in the description as well. And obviously you put the key that you want to bind it on here and then you save and you launch and it should execute the auto exec. That's how you add a jump throw bind. Then you just launch the game and the exec will run and you will have your jump throw bind. I will also take a look at how you can add a run throw bind. Uh, I don't use it, I only use the jump throw bind, but some of you might want that, so I'll add it in the description as well. So these are all my settings, but I also want to take a look at my loadout. So the loadout I'm using is USPS, Dual Berettas, P250, 5.7 Desert Eagle. I'm using the Nova, the XM, UMP, MP9, and MP7. I'm using FAMAS, M4A1S, M4A4, Scout, and Alp. I feel like this is the best loadout for me. It gives me everything that I need, and most of the times I don't even use the UMP. Um, but that's my loadout for CT side. We'll move on to T side. On T side, I basically have the same loadout. Uh, you'll already see that I basically even have the guns in the same slot. Uh, I don't really like change that much. Uh, so I have Glock, Dually, P250, Tech 9, Desert Eagle, Nova, XM, UMP, Mac 10, MP7, Khalil, AK, SG, Scout, and Alp. Well, Gingies, these are my updated settings and my loadout. If you have any more questions, you can ask them in the comments or on our official certified Ging Discord. Yes, I have decided to make a Discord. So if you haven't joined it yet, go to the description down below and join that shit right now. On our Discord, you can send pictures of your skins or crafts. You can send me interesting stuff to look at on stream or in videos. You can even send me video IDs, which I might turn into videos. And you get announcements when I upload or I go live. And also, I'm really interested in doing demo reviews. So if you are on my Discord, I might ask you to send me your demos and then I will review those. And lastly, I'm trying to build a community. So there are rooms that you can join, play with other people watch some stuff, maybe even watch my streams or videos together. And I might probably hang out on the server from time to time as well, so you might even be able to play with me if you want. Enough waffling, that's it for this video. I hope I was able to give you some insight into the CS settings and into my settings. And don't forget that it's important to focus on yourself, on personal preference and just make sure that you feel comfortable using the settings. You determine which settings are best for you. Nobody else can do that. Don't just copy pros their settings or copy my settings. Try to think about them a little bit as well and try to figure out what works best for you. I hope you enjoyed this one and obviously don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you gingies in the next one. Peace.